Hi, I'm Brooke. Welcome to Rockstar Vegan Recipes. Today we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to be looking at 10 supplements to keep you healthy mentally and physically during this quarantine and beyond. We're all staying at home and this is an opportunity to keep our health in check and our bodies and brains in tip-top shape. These 10 supplements will help you stay healthy and keep your immune system strong during these difficult times. Of course, a whole foods diet is essential for health and well-being, and these supplements should not be taken instead of the food, but alongside it. The first supplement that you should take is vitamin D. Vitamin D is nicknamed the sunshine vitamin, and many people may be lacking it due to spending more and more time indoors. It is important for strong bones, muscles, and immune function. It is needed for our bodies to absorb calcium from the intestines, and that is why it's so important for healthy bones. It's very hard to get the vitamin D that you need from your diet alone. Foods such as cereals, juices, and vegan milks are fortified with it, but supplementing with vitamin D is important for most adults. When you take a supplement, be sure to take it with food, preferably something with fat to help it absorb. Patrick and I take 1,000 to 2,000 units a day in the summer and 4,000 units a day in the winter. Supplement number two is vitamin B12. B12 works to keep the body's nervous system healthy, helps form red blood cells, and helps make DNA. A deficiency in vitamin B12 can lead to serious health consequences, such as anemia and neurological disorders. Although some vegan milks, soy products, nutritional yeast, seaweed such as Norway, and some mushrooms are sources of B12, it is very hard to get enough through a vegan diet because most high sources are animal-based and therefore a supplement is essential. Make sure that the B12 that you get is methylcobalamin, which is the active form of B12. We take a sublingual B12, which goes under our tongue every day. Number three is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that can boost your body's immune system. It can protect the body's cells from free radicals, which are linked to many chronic diseases. Vitamin C can also help your body fight inflammation. Studies have shown that vitamin C can lower blood pressure, which can reduce the risk of heart disease. High intake of vitamin C from foods and supplements has been shown to have a protective effect against memory disorders. Vitamin C supplements can help improve the absorption of iron from the diet. Plant-based iron, which is called non-heme iron, is harder for the body to absorb, and studies show that vitamin C can make it more easily absorbable. We take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C a day. Foods with vitamin C include all citrus fruits, peppers, strawberries, leafy greens, potatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, and more. Number four is zinc. Zinc is essential to cell division. It influences the hormonal activity in the body and ramps up our immune system to help us fight off colds, flus, and infections. Studies show that only 10 to 40% of the zinc in your diet is absorbed by your body. You can increase the bioavailability of zinc from foods by sprouting seeds and soaking beans, nuts, and seeds before using. Legumes, nuts, and seeds are rich in zinc, so make sure to add these to your diet. Tahini, which is sesame seed butter, spinach, and wheat germ are also high in zinc. Also, be sure to eat fermented foods like tempeh. We take a 25 milligram supplement each day, particularly during flu season to help boost our immunity. Number five is magnesium. Many people are deficient in magnesium and it is important for hundreds of bodily reactions, including metabolizing food, synthesis of fatty acids and proteins, and transmission of nerve impulses. A shortage of magnesium can be very harmful to your mood, mental health, and muscle function. Magnesium can be taken in the evening for a better night's sleep and managing stress levels. It can calm our nervous system, reduce stress, it has a relaxing effect on the brain and should be taken in the evening. Foods that contain magnesium include tofu, beans, seeds, spinach, brown rice, dark chocolate, and nuts. Brazil nuts are high in both magnesium and selenium. We supplement with 200 milligrams a day of pure elemental magnesium bisglycinate. Number six is choline. 
Studies show that choline boosts brain function and can improve both short-term and long-term memory. It can help you feel more mentally alert and improve your ability to recall information. Choline can also help with metabolism, liver function, and help maintain a healthy nervous system. There are mixed reviews about whether or not vegans get adequate amounts of choline in their diet. To be sure that we get enough, Patrick and I take an additional supplement. The form that we take is 250 milligrams of citicoline. Citicoline crosses the blood-brain barrier and supports optimal cognitive function. If you are someone who is considering getting pregnant, then you should definitely look for a prenatal that includes choline, since inadequate amounts can be linked to neural tube defects in babies, just like inadequate amounts of folate. Foods with small amounts of choline include broccoli, cauliflower, tofu, quinoa, kidney beans, and shiitake mushrooms. But once again, these are small amounts. Number seven is taurine. Taurine is a sulfur compound found in various body tissues, including your brain, heart, eyes, and muscles. It appears to play a role in muscle function and antioxidant defenses. Because taurine is present in large quantities in your eyes, research shows that eye problems may occur when these levels start to decline. Taurine supplementation can protect against the degeneration of the retina and help prevent macular degeneration. If you tend to be anxious, taurine can calm and focus your mind. A lot of people supplement with GABA to help ease anxiety, but many new studies now show that GABA does not easily cross the blood-brain barrier because the molecules are too large and that taurine supplementation works better. Taurine slows down the release of adrenaline and protects you from the fight or flight response. Many studies have shown that taurine helps protect against age-related mental decline by promoting the production of new brain cells in the hippocampus. A vegan diet does not contain a lot of taurine and the seaweed nori has the largest amount in plant foods. Supplementing with synthetic taurine is a good idea. Patrick and I have been doing this for a few months now and I definitely notice a difference in focus and mental sharpness. Synthetic taurine is very inexpensive. We bought a large tub for approximately $20 and it will last us for months. Number eight is L-thinine. L-thinine is an amino acid which is sometimes nicknamed Zen in a bottle because it has the ability to promote relaxation and calmness and is beneficial to many people suffering from generalized anxiety disorders or day-to-day -day anxiety. L-thinine provides better mental focus, improved sleep, relaxation, and increased cognitive performance. Green and black tea are the most common sources of L-thinine in the diet. We have been taking a 250 milligram supplement every evening and our sleep has been much more restful. Number nine is DHA. DHA is an essential omega-3 fatty acid and it's important for a healthy brain and heart. It plays a role in fighting inflammation throughout the body. Omega-3s help protect people against heart disease and stroke. Foods with the omega-3 DHA include walnut, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and seaweed. To be sure that we get enough, Patrick and I take a 250 milligram supplement of algae oil each day. And finally, number 10, probiotics. Probiotics are the good bacteria that line our digestive tracts and support our body's ability to absorb nutrients and fight infection. They may be beneficial in restoring gut health. There are different types of strains of probiotics which help with different bodily functions, so always look for the appropriate strains for your needs. Probiotics help immunity, digestion, balance hormones, mental health, and well-being. They help control inflammation and weight. You want to have enough good bacteria in your system to help create a healthy microbiome. If you aren't getting enough good bacteria from foods, then a probiotic should be included in your supplements. Foods which are high in probiotics include yogurt, fermented foods such as tempeh, miso, kimchi, kombucha, kefir, and sauerkraut. Patrick and I try to consume fermented foods each day. One way this can be done is by adding kimchi to a meal or snack. I also regularly take a probiotic. So those are 10 supplements for remaining strong and healthy. If you have any concerns about your personal health, please consult your physician before starting to take anything new.
Hopefully you've learned something new and if you have any questions, please share them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay healthy and take care of yourselves.